Alrighty, y'all. My name is Aaron Knight. So, we want you to follow along with us as we try to fix this broke down house. So, right now we got some shopping and stuff to do. We got a local redneck festival we're going to go to. We'd like to would like you guys to follow along with us as we go. Right now, we got to get in the trucks so we can leave. So I'll get back to you whenever we actually get in the truck and start moving. Alrighty, y'all. So we're back in the truck now. We had to stop and get something to drink because I'm thirsty. So, anyways, our story is we got this old broke down house that we have no choice but to fix up. Originally, we were just going to buy another house and sell this one to the neighbor. Finances ain't gonna allow for that. So to begin with, my wife and I, I went to high school together, and we re we reunited in 2015. Well, shortly after that, I proposed to her. So shortly after I proposed to her, which was Christmas Eve of 2015. Uh, about a month after that, uh, she was working and we had two incomes coming in. Well, we found out that the doctor told her that she either had a choice of keeping our son, who she was pregnant with, or she can keep her job, but she can't keep both. So obviously we chose our son. Well, this took us down to one income, which made it really rough on us. Because in that month's span, we had started buying stuff for the wedding, and we had took out loans for the wedding, and our plans to put our lives together and make one life out of it. Man, it just really knocked us for a loop. Well, we couldn't do much with the house on one income, so it had to go on the back burner. So that brings us up to, oh, uh, last year sometime, I decided that I was going to take two jobs and hopefully be able to flip the house we got. Well, I was working two full-time jobs, which wasn't working. I actually lost the use of my left arm for about two weeks there and there, so I had to quit the second job. Well, my wife decided earlier this summer that she was going to go back to work so we could finally get something done with this old broke down house we had. Well, she ran into some health problems along the way and she had to quit her job. So here we are again for the second time where you think everything's going to go good for us and all of a sudden we fall flat on our face. Well, after my wife got over her health issues, she's able to get a job again just a couple months later, and now here we are again. We've got two full-time jobs and two incomes coming in. A whole bunch of stuff we got to get out of the way here before we actually start flipping the house. So that brings us up to why are we doing this YouTube channel? Well, we're doing this YouTube channel for two purposes. The first one is, is that we know that there's people out there just like us, time after time, get on their feet, and then something knocks them right back down, just like what we had happened to us several times here in the past few years. We know that finances are tight. So, we're hoping that by doing this YouTube channel, that we can encourage people with similar financial situations and similar hardships that we have gone through. We can encourage and show them that it is possible to take an old broke down house, fix it up, and make it something really nice. So make it a big old chunk of cornbread. And also part of this channel, going to use it to show how we are going to take, we are going to completely transform our lives. We're actually going to try our best to not only rebuild the house, but completely rebuild our 
lives and really make it something that we can be proud of so that years down the road that our kids will be able to sit back and be happy and to be able to be excited to tell the stories of what we went through remodeling this house and the big changes that we made in our life to give them a better life. We're really hoping that we can flip this house and get out the country somewhere where we can teach our kids important parts of life, how to have a farm and how to raise your own food and your own meat. So I really hope that you will follow along with us and hopefully you will find some encouragement here along the way in order to take on even a small project or even a big project like we're going to do. Hopefully, it will help you understand a little bit what you might come across. It will encourage you to realize that you can do the same thing that we are. So, right now, I'm going to get off of here and we'll meet back up with you whenever we get to the Loggers Festival here on the small towns around us. Thank you. Alrighty, y'all. So, here we are at Birch Tree Logger Days. Birch Tree, Missouri. This is like the Redneck Festival of Town. So they're supposed to start just about now. It don't look like they got a whole lot going on. We'll come down here and see what they got anyhow. Alrighty, so we just left Vlogger's Day in Birch Tree, and my son decided not to cooperate, so he wasn't there more than five minutes. Not enough time to film anything. So now I guess we're gonna go over to mom and dad's house and have to help dad do some stuff. And then we're headed home. So alrighty guys, thank you. Alright guys, I'm back again and we're fixing to wrap up this video. By the way, I forgot to tell you, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button. That way you can get all our latest videos and you can follow along with us on our journey. We thank you and we love you.